This playthrough is rated T for teen. If we're going to be taking on Renraku, we're going to have to pump ourselves up! Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Shadowrun. In the last episode, we dealt with the mob, although we turned around and decided not to do it. We also just told, I also explained a bit better about the Matrix, how I'm going to be earning money and new yen. So now we're going to take advantage of that because I've earned quite a bit of money off screen. Not much. Oh, well, much. But not, I didn't have to do much to get this. I just did what I told you did. I went to the, did expert matrix runs, went to the red areas and the matrix and downloaded the, the files, sold them. And I got, you know, a decent money every, even with useless stuff, I still got anywhere from like 3000 to $10,000 per file. And it builds up really fast. And I got some decent uh, uh, karma for doing that as well. So we'll be spending that eventually. Now, I'm going to actually upgrade my... I'm finally going to do what I've been talking about the whole game. I'm finally going to give myself more cyberware after all this time. Now, you're probably wondering why I waited so long to do it when I could have done it easily anytime soon. Well, I'm also going to talk to a very special individual who will help us out with our costs on this. And having 12 negotiate also helps. We want to go back to where it all started, the Redmond Barons. Remember those punks that used to beat the crap out of me all the time? Well, now it's time to beat the crap out of them. Actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to just talk to their boss. Tell them to leave us alone. Actually, we're not going to do that either. Yeah, I talked to these guys a long time ago, I think. But, uh, yeah, we want to talk to your boss this time, Chuckles. The boss is not expect you to follow me. Yeah, if you have a, a reputation of four, I believe. Uh, if not, you will have to pay him. Let me verify that really quick. Yeah, I always forget on this one. Uh, it is... Uh, yeah, you need at least have a four, four or five reputation for that. Otherwise, you have to pay him um, fifteen hundred new yen. Not that it's a big deal, but anyway, you're led into a dark room uh, deep into the building. It's somehow brightened by the surprising charisma of the leader of the Halloweeners. Good day and well met, friend Joshua. I am Rat Spike. What? <laughs> Rat Spike? Huh? What do you do to rats? I wonder. Well, what can we do for you? Maybe protect you from my boys? And perhaps introduce you to a dear friend of ours. Uh, yeah, for 3000 he could give you a Halloweener patch, which will basically make his boys stop attacking you. But we're so beefed to the gills that they don't even cause a threat to us anymore. So there's actually no reason to buy the, the patch. Um, actually, I don't think it even does anything else. At least with the orcs, you get free cab rides. Uh, with, uh, with the Halloweener patch, I think all it is is they just don't, don't mess with you anymore. So... Yeah, that's all it does. So it's really no point in doing it. You only do it at maybe the very beginning of the game when you're forced to be here and you have trouble, like, fight, messing with them, then maybe. But, you know, but anyway, we're just going to go to his contacts. Our friends are your friends, Joshua. Let me give you the name of our boss. Simply send me 10,000 New Yen and I'll slip you the name. Deal? Yes. The man is Agira Tatsumi. He is the head of the Seattle Yakuza and should be treated with the utmost respect. Don't tell him I sent you, dig. No, I won't, Dig. Thanks for the biz, Josh. You're probably shown the door. All right, let's go talk to Kira. This is the same with the mob boss. We'll talk to like someone else, and then when we talk to him again, we will get the boss, uh, boss this time. So let's talk to Agira. The vid phone is blanketed. Identify your purpose. You identify yourself and ask to speak to Mr. Tatsumi. You are known to us, Joshua. You have unknowingly interfered and aided our operations on many occasions. Now you come to us as an ally. Do you wish to join our order and be bound as one of the Yakuza forever? Forever! Well, sure, why not? It doesn't affect the ending at all, so yeah, sure. And if you do this like uh, like last episode, you can't become one of the mob and vice versa if you do the mob stuff, so. It is done. I will call Tatsumi-san and inform him of your decision. All right. So now we're going to do Tatsumi. Now, you're probably thinking the bo mob boss is probably better because the chance at uh, just infinite money, but this... Yeah, this doesn't give us infinite money, but this helps us in the immediate run, and we'll get some of the best stuff in the game. Well, one of the best things, actually. I mean, this will help us get other things, too, but... Anyway, let's call the Kira again. The mid-phone display remains black, and the Kira Tetsumi's pleasant voice modulates through the speaker. Have you got to, Joshua-san? For your devotion, I grant you these things. There's a little place called Little Chiba in the Redmond Bears. You are under our protection. It will give you extraordinary service at a discounted rate. I also have acquired a supply of military issue combat armor. I spent a lot of time and money to get to them, but I will sell you one for 30,000 a year. Lastly, I have many powerful mages in my employ. They have created an item that will increase the magical abilities of the one who holds it 
I will sell this power focus for 80,000 yen. Do you have anything to say? The power focus is pretty good. It's a bit pricey though, but if you're a wizard, it's definitely worth considering. But for us, we only need the combat armor. I'd like to buy that combat armor, please. The item you have requested is on its way. May the Yakuza guide you, joshua -san. All right, we got the heavy combat armor now, so let's take a look at this thing. Heavy co look at that. Holy crap. We'll almost never be hurt by guns, uh, 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 except in some rare instances where I get hit with a shotgun or something like that. Uh, like, if not, it'll do, like, no damage to me. We can still get punched, but, uh, hey, look at that. Just, it, it costs 30000 to get the best armor in the game, bar none. There's nothing better than this. We'll basically be walking tanks at this point. So let's equip that, and then we'll swap over. Well, if I get more armor... Oops. If I get more armor event, money eventually, I'll probably go buy some other equipment for my other characters. Uh, but for now, I will just give them their... Uh, I'll just give them the hand-me-downs uh, to uh, Stark there. Yeah, we'll give him the light combat armor. And then I think... Uh, yeah, I think the armor jacket's better for her anyway, so we'll give we'll give uh trade that to her. Yeah, equipped. Okay. Yeah, we got the best armor in the game, so we won't die easily. That's for sure. It'll take it'll take something pretty major to hurt us. Uh oh. Oh well, anyway. All right, let's sell that really quick, and let's actually give ourselves uh. Let's see, she has it now, so let's sell. Her line duster. It does not conceal illegal weaponry. That is a lie. I already talked about that at the beginning of the game. Alright, so we want to finally buy a predator pistol for Rihanna. Because I want her to have I want her to be able to actually fire inside of a place where we're gonna be going to, and I don't want to activate an alarm unnecessarily. So so let's uh upgrade her Yeah, let's give her a smart link system because she has a has a uh, smart link. Uh, set up already and give her a silencer and then Stark doesn't have uh, uh, the smart gun set up but he does have goggles we could technically sell the goggles and inject them with that but uh, actually I think he's almost at zero essence so no we couldn't actually but anyway you could if you hack the game or something like that but anyway let's, sec let's uh, select his predator pistol and give him the uh, silencer because we have the goggles we don't need the the goggles they do nothing no they do something if you but you don't need a smart gun system if you have the goggles. So give him a silencer. All right, we're going to have him equip that gun, obviously. Same with Rihanna. Even though Rihanna is terrible with a pistol, I wanted to be able to try to fire with it. I was trying... I, I mean, I could build up her pistol... Uh, build up her firearm stat and then give her a 13 and a pistol if I really wanted to. But I feel like that's kind of unnecessary, to tell you the truth. But it's just there so she could try to do damage. But, you know... You do what you can, you gotta do, so. All right, now we're finally gonna real, find out why I have not been uh, upgrading, for the most part, I haven't been upgrading my, uh, the only reason I got the smart link system is because I wanted a little bit of help with fighting stuff until we got to this point, so I was willing to wait that out, but yeah, let's go ahead and sell that uh, extra light pistol I got, so, okay. But anyway, yeah, the reason I've been holding off on Cybernex is because Lil Chiba is a cyberware place, so with 12, Ne negotiations this is the best place in the game to get anything because of the uh yakuza influence however if you are if you're doing if you're not doing the yakuza influence and you're doing like mob influence for whatever reason and you want to know the best places to get these items uh go at wired reflexes go to wire masters and renraku arcology um they're twenty thousand before negotiations that's the cheapest place to do that dermal plating is cheaper in seattle general um with before negotiations, that'd be the cheapest place to go. Same with muscle replacement. Spurs, uh, or sorry, Cyber Eyes is Council Island, and uh, which Council Island is only slightly better, cheaper than uh, the Bob's Quick Stitch. But if you got the orc, if you got the orc, uh, you know, armband where you could just go there for free, that's then you could do that. But uh, but and for Spurs, uh, go to Bog's Quick Stitch Clinic, which is in the Puglia Barrens, is the cheapest place for that. So for Wired Reflexes, we're gonna buy that twice. And you're probably thinking, wait, isn't that gonna drop our essence to four or by four? No, because for whatever reason in this game, if you buy uh, Wired Reflexes twice, 
it only gives the essence cost of uh, for the second time you buy it, it only costs one but then if you buy it a third time it's two again so i don't know if that's just the the people pl making the game were being nice to us or perhaps it was the oversight i don't know but we're gonna buy it twice because that's gonna make that's gonna make our gun go brr. yes it will it's uh so in the dermal planning i want to buy a couple pieces of that and then uh so that way we'll uh you know increase our armor even further and then finally this is mainly for being physically hit more than anything and finally muscle replacement we'll get this this will improve our strength and quickness so we'll be on the lines of stark when it comes to his stats so we'll buy that and then we'll buy some cyber eyes and then spurs spurs is usually two essence but because i had hand spurs uh, hand razors from being a uh, uh samurai it only costs 0.1 essence to buy that that way i can if for some reason re i fight an enemy that has a really tough set of armor i can punch him and actually do decent armor because most the, no armor in the game completely makes you immune to physical attacks uh physical attacks can actually be pretty effective against certain characters but anyway if we buy spurs that'll kip us out and we'll be at 0.1 essence we're almost a robot but hey anything to save our brother am i right okay now we're kipped out completely yeah let's, let's look at our look at our stats there yeah our uh, look at our defense armor combat armor everything like that let's look at our tributes yeah look at that my body went up two quickness went up one and strength went up one as well so now that's our cybernetic enhancements is six four and five but we can still upgrade our ourselves to our max human stats which is six and we still get to take advantage of our cybernetics because we did it before we maxed out the stat if you max out the stat and then buy the cybernetics you don't get to take advantage of that because of the way the game works oh well all right nice okay now let's go uh let's sleep really quick and uh and spend our whoops i went into the i for some reason i thought i went into the end eh, anyway all right whoops it looks like we're getting attacked oh no whatever shall i do look at that yeah you know, when i was fine okay before wired reflexes it took me even when i pressed the button to attack it took me a few seconds to actually fire the gun now every time i press the button i fire automatically that's how fast i can do it so yep it's definitely worth it okay karma screen all right uh, for stark now that we max out his gun level let's max out max out his pistol at 20 now he'll have a 13 in gun yeah i talked about this before obviously but now we're actually doing it yeah, the only way to get a 13 in the game is by wait by maxing out firearms and then hopefully one of these stats is zero so yeah we're gonna make his pistol uh 13 and he'll be a, a, a madhouse with that uh predator heavy pistol bam there you go <laughs> all right i think for stark i think uh, yeah i can still max work on his body and everything like that if i want to um uh, so same with willpower i might max that out actually because i'm probably never gonna have him do melee combat could raise up his biotech maybe hmm. interesting uh or save my money and get the rest of these built up but i probably just gotta use pistols for the rest of the game after this point so um actually you know it wouldn't be a bad idea to raise his uh willpower just to make sure he uh doesn't uh suffer too much from uh from that so i think we'll hold off on buying anything else so okay uh rihanna you've already maxed out your computer all of your physical well, technically i could buy probably muscle replacement for you too but it wouldn't really affect your quickness now that max now that that's maxed out but really i'm not i'm not building her for that so uh yeah we'll, we'll uh, actually use her uh we'll use her abilities to improve her fire her general firearms just to be able to shoot pistols a little bit easier so we'll upgrade that uh we'll get that up to four just to get her uh be able to shoot things uh, for me, now we can finally upgrade our <laughs> upgrade our intelligence. Yeah, we're so stupid. Now we're gonna upgrade the uh, rest of our. Actually, I could upgrade my stats. I also need to upgrade my biotech because we're gonna be needing that here pretty soon. Uh, oh yeah, and I also need to upgrade my firearms as well. So yeah, let's upgrade that at least uh, at least a point. Let's go biotech up at least once, and then yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade our uh, our. Uh, physical stats a bit as you can see there see we're still at seven and then now we're at eight now i can't raise it up anymore but my body's at max ha 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 quickness let's raise that up 
Yeah, we'll need a little bit more karma to max out our, our, our quickness, but... Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, we're definitely ready for the big leagues. That's for sure. All right. Uh, let's see, how much money do we have now? Yeah, we have the quite a bit more money still. I could buy another set of uh, heavy armor for Stark. That way I don't have to worry about him. I was also going to buy upgrade my uh, my decking a little bit. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Probably him never getting hit at all would be a good idea, but uh, I think one's fine. Well, actually, if I do the other one, I could give the light, light armor to her, and she would actually be able to maybe survive a couple of hits. Well, it's because she had a really crappy set of armor, though. Eh, yeah, we'll go and buy the we'll buy that other set of armor. So, yep. Yeah, I want to buy the uh, combat armor again. Okay. Yeah, we'll give that to Stark. Yeah, I was trying to decide if that's if that's good enough or not. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give him that. Okay. Yeah. Now now he'll never be able to be uh, killed. So. I think I'll keep her submachine gun anyway, just for this next mission. I'm not going to really use it. So, look how faster I am, too. Look at that. Like, uh, if you raise your quickness, you actually do walk faster on the map. So, which is a nice little detail. Okay, let's sell that uh, uh, armor jacket. Okay. Okay, now let's upgrade our... Uh, I'm trying to think what I want to upgrade. Well, let's go back to the Pulley of Barons, because uh, next episode we're going to be going straight to Rinraku. Not today, unfortunately, viewers. No, this is the this is the final prep prep episode before we actually go to Rinraku, because I won't really have to do this very much at, after this point, because we'll have we'll have basically taken care of every single uh, prep job. The only thing I'll have to worry about is maybe making sure I have enough clips and bio and and uh, med kits. Oh, whoops, wrong room. Which I can do that off screen. Because we'll need them for what we're going to, especially the end game. So, all right, software. Let's see. I could upgrade my attack. Uh, get my stealth up a little bit more. Get my sleeves up a bit more as well. Yeah, too bad you can't really get a, a disc a major discounts on uh, on this stuff like masking and everything like that. But hey, what can you do? Uh, let's see. If I do both of those, it'll give me with. 22,000, which wouldn't really... I could probably buy a sleaze one more, I guess. Mm, decision, decisions. I do want to be able to hit better. I probably won't need the Matrix as much where we're going. But it'll be nice to, nice to have. So yeah, we'll upgrade evasion once. And masking up once. And we'll go ahead and uh, raise sleaze up a bit as well. All right. Now we are ready for the big time. Maybe not Rihanna specifically, but like I said, she's mainly our decker in this situation. Oh boy, that was a lot of money just spent, but it was well worth it. Like I said, we're pretty much prepared for the rest of the game at this point. We can handle anything that throw throw across us as well. But Renraku has been a pretty bad boy, dipping their hands in all these types of fingers. We've been taking down all their individuals, Mako and, I, and Ito. But what awaits us in Renraku? Can we survive one of the most dangerous, dangerous places? In the whole game next to the finale? I'll find out next time in the next episode of Shadowrun. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.